we're now going to simulate a darkening sky. The lights come on, the sky and building remain in daylight. The background <coughs> excuse me, should darken as the marquee lights up, showing off the marquee contents and creating a sense of excitement. You'll use a mask, a solid layer, and a blending mode to provide the contrast. So we first need to create a mask, and by, we'll do this. Press the home key to get you back to the beginning. Select the lit marquee layer. Choose edit and then duplicate. After Effects adds a lit marquee 2 layer to the layer stack immediately above the lit marquee layer. Select the pen tool. With the lit marquee 2 layer selected, click in the upper left corner of the marquee to start drawing. Click additional points to continue the mask around the left edge of the marquee, the left and upper edge of the background, and the theater sign, as in the image below, uh, this image that you're going to see me do. So we're going to click here, click outside of it, go around it, go around it, and then just click points, go around the sign, go up here, go over here. Doesn't have to be perfect. You'll see mine's not perfect. And then close the mask. Now that we've masked the background, we're going to add a layer that will affect it and then animate the opacity of that layer. Select the lit marquee layer in the timeline. Choose Layer, New, and Solid. In the Solid Settings dialog box, make sure that a dark gray color is selected. So click here and then get a dark gray color and then click OK. Click Make Comp Size right here and then click OK. After Effects adds a layer named Dark Gray Solid 1 between the Lit Marquee and the Lit Marquee 2 layers right here. With the current timeline indicator at the beginning of the time ruler, most of the image will darken because neither the lit marquee layer nor the lit marquee layer 2 layer with its mask are visible yet. Don't worry, we're going to animate the solid layer's opacity to account for that. Select the lit marquee 2 layer, press M, and that will show you the mask property. Choose Darken from the Mask Mode menu. So right here where it says Add, click Darken. And then check the book. Uh, da, da, da. And select Inverted. So click right here on Inverted. You drew around the background, but that's the area you want to remain unmasked. When you invert the mask, the unselected area becomes masked instead. Select the Dark Gray Solid layer. Press T to open its opacity. Make sure the current timeline is at zero. Change the opacity to zero. Click the stopwatch icon to create an initial keyframe. Go to 123. 123. Change the opacity to 5%. Go to 409. Click Add or Remove Keyframe button. So right over here. Click that button. Creates an additional keyframe with the opacity at 5% still. Go to 7 seconds. Change the opacity to 75%. Press the home key. Move the current timeline out indicator to the beginning. Press the space bar to preview the animation. And let's wait for it to get a little darker. You see it getting dark. 
voila. Press the space bar again to end your animation. As the lights brighten and the text begins to move, the surrounding building and the sky gradually darken. Our scene is complete. Isn't that awesome? Now we're going to work on retiming the composition. So far, we've created a straightforward time lapse si simulation. That's fine, but After Effects offers more ways to play with time using the time remapping feature. Time remapping lets you dynamically speed up, slow down, stop, or reverse footage. You can also use it to do things like create a freeze frame result. The graph editor and layer panner are a big help when remapping time, as we'll see in the following exercise. When you retime re the project so that the time lapses speed changes over the course of the movie. So, let's before we go to that, let's save what we've done. And go to the next video.